Millions of dollars are invested to collect accurate elevation information across the United States and along our coasts. Cartographers, engineers, planners, and other professionals then use this information to help ensure that ships travel in and out of ports safely, roads, bridges, and levees are constructed correctly, and evacuation routes stay dry during inundation events. To correctly use maps, charts, and geospatial tools, it's important that we understand where the elevation and height information comes from, how it fits together, and how it will be applied. Let's say we are conducting long-term planning for a coastal area. We need to collect elevation information to ensure safe navigation and to support coastal construction projects. NOAA Airborne Topobathy LIDAR uses laser technology to provide accurate height information for land surfaces, as well as shallow water depths and objects such as houses and vegetation. NOAA hydrographic survey ships use sound waves in the form of sonar to measure water depths. In order to align elevation data from various sources, we need to pick a common starting point. The most commonly used reference surface, or datum, is an ellipsoid, an idealized representation of Earth's shape. Because Earth is not smooth, the ellipsoid may lie above or below Earth's surface at any given location. The ellipsoid is the basis for satellite navigation systems, such as the U.S. Global Positioning System, or GPS. LIDAR and sonar data tells us that our pier is 35 meters below the ellipsoid and the seafloor is 50 meters below the ellipsoid. With this information, we might think we know enough to keep our ships from running aground. But because water levels are always changing with tides and other meteorological and hydrodynamic effects, we need to use a different reference frame that accounts for changes in water level. Tidal datums are local reference planes defined from water level observations. For navigation applications, the generally accepted vertical datum of reference is mean lower low water, the average of the lowest daily tides over the 19-year period referred to as the National Tidal Datum Epoch. So, we need to transform our elevation information from an ellipsoid reference to mean lower low water to best support navigational needs. Fortunately, NOAA's vertical datum transformation tool, known as VDATUM, allows us to realign existing datasets from one vertical datum to another. Using VDATUM to transform our heights from an ellipsoidal to a tidal datum, we see that our pier is 10 meters above mean lower low water, and the seafloor is only 5 meters below mean lower low water. This means our ship will have to have a draft less than 5 meters, or find another pier at low tide. Now, turning our attention to onshore construction. Before a new house is built, a surveyor needs to make sure the foundation is built above the high-risk floodplain. The surveyor uses professional GPS equipment to compute a highly accurate height of the ground relative to the ellipsoid reference frame. Based on the survey, we know the base of our house is 25 meters below the ellipsoid. But what does that tell us about the floodplain? Unfortunately, ellipsoidal reference frames do not accurately represent topography or gravity, which are both important in determining the direction water will flow. As a result, for applications like floodplain mapping, we need our data reference to an orthometric height system such as the North American Vertical Datum of 1988, NAVD88, which accounts for differences in gravity. Again, NOAA's VDATUM tool allows us to transform the ellipsoid height of the base of our house, which was negative 25 meters, to an orthometric height of 11 meters in NAVD88. Our floodplain map, which is published in NAVD88, has a base flood elevation of 8 meters, so we know this house is built above the high-risk flood zone. VDATUM can also transform our 11-meter NAVD88 height to a height reference to local mean higher high water, or MHHW. MHHW is the average of the highest daily tides over the National Tidal Datum Epoch. The mean higher high water datum is helpful for inundation modeling and storm surge forecasting. As these examples illustrate, it is important to understand which reference frame our elevation and height information is based on so we can appropriately use different data sources together. NOAA's VDATUM tool, which covers many parts of the United States, makes it easy to convert and align data sets for mapping, charting, and geospatial applications, so we can be sure critical and strategic decisions are based on accurate information.